Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. Let's take some properties of log. The first property is log p to the base a is nothing but log p to the base b by a to the base b. That means the scenario here is if you have any log to the base something, so what you can write is you can include a new base and you can say this is nothing but log p by log a with the different base. For example, I mean I'll tell you how it is. For example, in this case, when I'm saying that log p to the base a is let's suppose x. So this is nothing but I can rewrite as a to the power x is equal to p. Correct? Now let me take log b both sides because I'm introducing a new base. So if you take log b both sides, this becomes sorry, log to the base b a to the power x is equal to log to the base b p. Correct? This is nothing but this comes here because log a to the power n is nothing but n log a. So this becomes n, n becomes x here, x into log a to the base b is equal to log p to the base b. Or if you solve this further, x is nothing but log p to the base b by log this guy comes here, a to the base b. So what you have seen? This guy is x. And what is the value of x? This guy. So if you compare these two equations, if you compare these two equations, what I'll get is log a log p to the base a is equal to x and x is nothing but this guy. That is log p to the base new base by log a to the new base. And this is what I wanted to. So I proved this actually. So this is used generally when you have some log to some base and you want to introduce a new base and then you can get this. For example, this is used, I'll tell you how. Uh, you have uh, log, let's suppose, log 17 to the base 3, correct? You don't know how to find this. So what you can do is, but you have the log table. So you can convert this guy as nothing but log 17 to the base e by log 3 to the base e. So these two values you can very well find from the log table and get the solution. So this is generally used in such case where uh, you have log p to the base a where you, you don't even know how to find the solution for a log with the base a. Then you can write that guy as log p to the base e or something for which you know the value by log a to the base something for which you know the value. The next property is, uh, is you say log pq. In all these, the base will be constant. The next few properties which I'll explain, there the base will be constant. If you see the base is constant. So if you say log pq to base p, that is nothing but log p plus log q. And the base is constant. Only in first property, the base changes. Here it was to the base a. And here we introduced a new base. So this here we say new base is introduced in this property. And in other properties which I'll explain, the base will be same. So when I say log p q, it is nothing but log p plus log q. This is one of the critical property why log is used because the multiplication you are converting multiplication to addition. So multiplying, I'll tell you in real world if you see you have to multiply 3, 2, 7, 3, 8 into let's suppose 5, 2, 8, 7. So multiplication of these two numbers is very difficult but addition is simple. So what we are doing here is multiplication of two number is easily converted to addition of two number using log. And this is one of the critical feature why do we use log. So to prove this, what can we do is we can start with the base 2. So let's take p as uh, 8 and q as 2. So my log pq will be log 2 to the base 8 into 2. My left hand side I am writing left hand side. That is log 16 to the base 2 and this is nothing but 4. Correct? Because 
2 to the power 4 is equal to 16. 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16. So I can say that log 16 to the base 2 is 4. My right hand side, if you see, will be nothing but log b is 2, p is 8, correct, plus log q is 2, the base 2. This is nothing but log a to the base 2 is 3. Why? Because 2 to the power 3 is 8 and log 2 to the base 2 is 1. 3 plus 1 that is 4. If you see LHS and RHS is same. Thus I can, I mean I just showed you how this property is true. Right? By taking uh, a particular value of p, q and b. Here I took b as 2 because it is simple to understand these values if b is 2 or 10. And then p I took 8 and q I took 2 because 8 and 2 are 2 to the power form. So log 8 to the base 2 is 3 because 2 to the power 3 is 8. So log, log 8 to the base 2 is 3. Similarly log 2 to the base 2 is 1 because 2 to the power 1 is equal to 2. So log 2 to the base 2 is equal to 1 and log 16 to the base 2 is 4 because 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16 and thus I approved LHS is equal to RHS. The other property says that if you have log p square that becomes 2 log p. So this guy comes here and same thing if it is log p to the power n this comes out to be n log p. So same thing you can do we can to prove this let's take p is equal to 4 and b is equal to 2. So my LHS becomes here log p square is 4 square 16 to the base 2 and this is 4 we know. So my LHS is 4. Let's find the RHS is nothing but 2 log p 2 into log base is 2 and p is 4 is nothing but 2 into log 4 to the base 2 is 2. Why? Because 2 to the power 2 is 4, so log 4 to the base 2 is 2. This is also 4. So if you see LHS and RHS are same here. Thus this formula is also 2. This is a general formula instead of 2 is n here. So log p to the power n to some base is nothing but n log p. And here base is b actually. Here also base is b because the base is not changing in all these equations. So. So log p to the power n is nothing but n log p. So here what we can do is uh, we can do the same thing. Here let's take b as 10, a different uh, one. And let's take p as 10. Correct. So my left hand side becomes log 10 to the power n to the base 10. And what is the value of this? This is nothing but n because 10 to the power n is nothing but 10 to the power n. My right hand side becomes n into log 10 to the base 10 that this, this guy becomes 1 because 10 to the power 1 is 10 so this is nothing but n. So my left hand side and right hand side are also equal. We will take one more property. So this property is just opposite of this property, the multiplication property. In multiplication we say add, in division we subtract. Similar to this. So what we can do is again let's take x as 8 and let's take y as 4, b as 2. So my left hand side will become log of 8 by 4, 2 to the base 2, that is 1. Let's talk about right hand side. This becomes log of b is 2, x is 8, y is 4 and b is 2. That is log of 4 to the base 2, sorry 8 to the base 2 minus log of 4 to the base 2. Log of 4 to the base 2. That is 3 minus 2. That is 1. So both are same. You see? So I can prove this formula also with some values. So end of the day. What is the mantra here? So if you want to change the base, this is the only formula where the base is changed. Please note, log p to the base a 
you want to change to a different base, this becomes log p by log a with new di with different bases, new base. If you have in form of p and q, pq, then you can say this is nothing but log p plus log q. If it is p to the power n, this becomes n log p. If it is x by y form, this is nothing but log x minus log p. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.